Hi, welcome back. This is my Kawasaki AR50. I'm trying to get to 100 mile an hour as per the original Practical Sports Bike project way back in 2012. Currently though, I still need one pad to get to 100 mile an hour. How am I going to do it? Well, today I'm going to raise the exhaust port duration, try and increase the blowdown time area. So the question is, will I get more power from doing this? So we're going to test it on the dyno. There's also a risk that if I get it wrong and I go too high, I could make the bike unrideable as the power band will be too narrow to pull the gears and effectively it's going to make the cylinder probably scrap. So saw the new subs as well since the last video. Sub subscription has gone up quite a bit, thank you. I'm still not quite at the 2000 I want to be by the end of the year. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, hit the like, leave me a comment. Okay, a couple of shout outs as well before I forget. Um, Dale Taylor, Taylor Tuning, thank you very much. Uh, he's been giving me some tips and advice whilst I'm at the dyno. He's done a lot, a lot, a lot of dyno testing and he's really experienced, so it really helps. His top tips. Um, and also, Paul uh, emails me as well, so give me information on how he went about tuning these things many years ago. So, all good information. I'm a bit of a novice, so uh, it really helps having uh, an expert guidance uh, to get me through some of the testing and that so thank you okay just wanted to show the difference so i'm going to do some exhaust port experiments this is a cast of the original undermine our project from practical sports bike done by chris brocklehurst this is where mine is at now i've not touched this yet and as you can see there's quite a big difference this is about 196 that is 204 I think from memory, 203, 204, so a lot more time area. This, I've used an engine mod, says the blowdown area is about 18 and a half. Quite 15, 20%, about 15 horsepower at the wheel, which is what I'm getting. Got our piston, just going to draw around Chris's first. Do that. So obviously the bit inside is what the area is and I'm going to put my current exhaust port down to the, the bottom edge do a little draw around that so there's a comparison on a piston it's not quite as wide although it's not much different but it's definitely there's about 3mm there quite a lot so I'm going to go to Dyna today and start raising this exhaust I might widen it a little bit to start off with and then I'm going to start raising it and just see what happens. Right, just completed first tests. So this is what I've done, and that was the best I had for the other night. So roughly about the same, not too bad. I've modified my start procedure by starting at 6,000 RPM because there's a little bit of spluttering. So that's that done doing. I like to do testing all one day. So it's quite low pressure today as well. So there's quite a big correction going on. Whether you should use corrections or not, I don't know. However, it is what it is. That's why I want to do all these tests today. But first, I'm going to have to take the barrel off. I'm going to unclip everything, make me plenty of room. And then I'm going to re-measure my timings and I'm going to start from there. I've looking here for a while. It's quite oily actually. There's no charring on the piston either. Which is potentially... Yeah, although it's not got super hot because it's just been short runs. But... It's quite good now. No problems. Right here. I'm just trying to measure the uh, port duration. If I look through the exhaust port, because this port's controlled by the uh, ring, really. I don't know why that shows up. That is literally just cracking open. So if I measure that, and I'm measuring it to the top of the ring, and if you can see, use my calipers. Good ones. I get 20, I'm going to call it 20.8. Okay, so remember that, 20.8. 
But I thought I'd be clever. And I modified a set of cheap calipers that are actually quite accurate. And I cut them down so I could get in and actually do the measurement. I don't know where you'll see. But if I put these in, and I go to the actual top of the exhaust roof and measure are about 22.3 so it's what that is it's that's the exhaust port roof but you've got this radius on it and I'm measuring sort of about up here for my duration when I'm measuring it just with a light coming through whereas with the calipers I'm measuring from this bit here that's why I'm getting a difference so my question is, what, what exactly is my exhaust timing? Uh, yeah, interesting. So it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to increase it and we're going to let the dyno tell us. So I really hate that compressor. Spreadsheet I made ages ago, so 20.8. I re-measured it and I've got 21, so if I stick that in. That's 190 duration, which is actually pretty low. If I put in the actual to the top of the exhaust roof, which was 20.3, sorry, 22.3, idiot. I'm down at 183, so potentially, <laughs> it's one of these, I've never really come into it before, that when you measure it, you measure it, and it's a little bit ambiguous. So, as I said, the dyno should tell us what we need, I'm just going to raise the exhaust port, but before that I'm going to widen it. Okay, I've just got calipers out, I've had a bit of a re-measure, double check my percentage of bore width, I don't it's so easy, I've had a good play with that, so it's 37, so it's about 68%, so I can go a little bit wider there, I reckon a couple of mil, so I'm going to, first things first, I can't see what the hell I'm doing. I'm going to have a go at widening this a little bit, the width of this port, without eating into that radius too much, just see see what happens. Okay, welcome to probably the hardest thing I've ever done. I've never really done any porting as such before. As I say, I'm just a, I'm just someone who's learning. So I've made some lines where I want to port to. I've widened it a little bit. It's quite difficult to see it, but I can see. I'm widening it a couple of mil, raising it about half to three quarters of a mil, and I'll have another measure up once I've uh, ground it away, and then we'll stick it on a dyno and see what happens. to go Let's see what happens this test 14.8 first test I raised the exhaust I piston just cracking was 20.9 mil which give 194.4 degrees duration and when I measured it with a caliper, obviously admitting the radius that's on there, I got 21.4, which gave me 191.7 degrees. So I give it a test, and this is what I ended up with. I got a gain of 0.7 horsepower, which I thought was pretty good. Losing a little bit of a slope, but not too much. Okay, just taking a barrel off again. I don't know what you can see and do this with my camera not shit itself so I said I was going to do all the tests in one day <laughs> that didn't go to plan so I've done a retest tonight so 15.6 tonight I got 15.5 yesterday and that was up that was the base test from yesterday which was 14.8 that's before I did the first uh, raising of the exhaust port so so far so good so I'm hoping we'll keep going Seen a, an increase. Quick 
quick one. So that's what I started with. I raised the exhaust um, about three three degrees, so about half a mil. And this is where I'm starting to get the power now. So I think if I keep going, hopefully it keeps going up. I only need another one and a half, and I reckon I'm somewhere near where I need to be. So, and I still think there's a bit more in this as well. So the start of yesterday, I did a retest of the previous days and I was on 15.6. So I'm about, just about 0.8 of a horsepower up. I have had a few higher runs, but I like to look at the low ones and keep it conservative. So now I've done this retest for today, which I'm going to rename <laughs> with today's date. So it's easier because I'll get confused. Um, I'm going to then take this off and we're going to try and make some more power by raising the exhaust again exhaust port at the minute it doesn't help it goes off an angle and i think ideally i could have brought it around more there but that's kind of how it was when i got to it so i think that's how it is i don't know how easy you're going to see it i'm going to have a proper look myself in a minute but just checking for where i am getting some lines down there which I'd expect but I'm keeping a real good eye on this I can feel it's a little bit sharp there now yeah so I might put a bit of a bigger radius on this next time so I've been good taking some notes what the conditions are this was what it was yesterday and I've remeasured it today so yeah I'm still getting the same measurements within point one and this is one I'm going to aim for now so I'm going to aim for the, with the piston 19.9 mil from the top and with a caliper 20.4 and that should give me one 197 or virtually 200 so now I'm going to blue that up and I'm going to grind another half mil off the top and see what happens Three, so I raised the exhaust port again. If you measure it with a piston, it's 19.8 with a caliper 20.3, which gave me for the piston measurement 200.3 degrees duration, with the caliper measurement 197.6 degrees duration, and I'll pop up the results now. So we've got 17.1. So it starts to slow down. Well, actually, no, it's bang of a 0.7. So that's a good increase again. We're losing a little bit of drive, but nothing gearing, but we're gaining it on the overhead. Nothing gearing can't solve. And this is what we got. We've got 17.2, so actually it starts to slow down. It's not quite as much power. Um, a little bit more, but not worth continuing with raising the exhaust. Certainly not at this point. To note, I also spent a little bit less effort in raising the entire roof. I actually raised it in the middle. I've been trying to give it a little bit more of a bigger radius on the top of the roof just for... Uh, piston ring the longevity so potentially that could have been the problem so now we got what we started with which was 14.8 what we got now is 12.2 yes I have lost a little bit of drive I've gained a little bit over rev I'm sure the gearing should hopefully mitigate that what we're doing there and then so finally I'm going to do, put the uh, BDK pipe on as it was before it started. Not quite as good, but if you put it over time, you can see the 17.2 curve smashes it pretty much everywhere. This is what we need. You need horsepower for um, speed. Hi, so my fear today was reducing the power bandwidth. 
and make your bike rideable. Luckily that's not happened. We've also managed to get the power up. We're up to 17.2, so 2.4 horsepower increase just by raising the exhaust port. Happy with that. However, I think I need about 20 horsepower on this dyno, my dyno, uh, which is roughly equates to about 23 on a dyno jet. So there's things to improve. Uh, I took this port cast and it's a little bit wonky at the top. It's a bit low this side, so I can make that a little bit better. Uh, also the duct, if you looked at it, I reduced it. I've left it small. However, Chris enlarged it so it give it a better outflow cross-sectional area. Whether I need to improve that, I don't know. Saw it for flow testing, which we'll pick up in a later episode. Also, I'm keen to retest the BDK pipe as well because I don't know how that would work now with the higher exhaust durations. Um, so, next video though, I want to have a play with the jetting and I want to have a play with the ignition. Probably do a new ignition map as well. See if we can optimise because we've done quite a few changes. So, we'll just get the L set back. Um, and now finally, we'll go for a bit of flow testing to try and get a little bit better flow out of the exhaust port but see if we get a little bit more horsepower so yeah also I'm probably going to seal this up because it's been leaking like a sieve so I'm probably losing a little bit of power through uh, loss of pressure in the exhaust so if you're interested to see what happens interested in the next steps of me trying to get to 100 mile an hour then hit that sub, hit the likes, leave me a comment as well you know if you've got any feedback and uh, I hopefully should see you hopefully in another week or so. Thanks for watching. Cheers.